Hello, everyone. Welcome to the APH Virtual Excel Academy. We are happy to have you with us. Today, we are going to be celebrating the upcoming Chinese New Year, President's Day, and Valentine's Day. Everything February you can think of. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to drop a name in the chat. Say hello to us. We love when our friends come to visit. Welcome to the APH Virtual Excel Academy. Today is celebrating upcoming Chinese New Year, President's Day, and Valentine's Day. Welcome, Donnie. Glad to have you with us. We are focusing today with our students who are a little bit younger, but anybody is welcome. Today's instructor is Audrey Shading, but she also has a special guest with her, Connor Green. Hi, Audrey and Connor. It's all yours. Hi, Hi Leanne. Thank you so much. We're so happy to be here today. Um, Leanne has given us a great introduction, and I'd like to introduce Connor before we get started. Connor is from China and is a student in college. And Connor, can you tell us a little bit more about you? Oh, yeah. So hello everyone, my name is Connor. Uh, I am a totally blind uh, Chinese college student right now. Uh, I got adopted from China, like just like what Audrey said, uh, six years ago. Uh, today we are going to talking about Chinese New Year and a lot of other cool holidays. Yeah, that's great. And thank you, Connor. Connor, um, can you teach us a little bit of Chinese? Oh yeah, sure. Uh, we can learn a few quick phrases. Do everyone know how to say hello in Chinese? If you can unmute and shout it out if you do. No one? They can say, they can say a Y in the chat. This is Robin coming oh, yeah, in from good. the background. Since our students are muted, if you know how to say hello in Chinese, will you tell us a Y for yes and an N for no? One student has oh said some a ni hao, and yeah, then yeah, another student Ooh. says no, and we have another student that I oh I thought I saw somebody raise their hand, but it went away. So oh. it looks like we've got a split class, Connor. Some of us do know how to say hello, and some of us do not. Okay, then let's all learn together. Hello in Chinese is ni hao. Ni hao, Robin, say it. Ni hao. Uh huh, that's right. Hey. Ni hao. Good job. Mm, let's see. Do you guys want to know how to say Happy New Year? Yes. Of course. It's, it's going to be Chinese New Year. You have to know how to say Happy New Year to other people, right? Everybody say why in the chat. Don't say N. I will, you know, cry. <laughs> All right. Happy New Year is Xin Nian Hao. Xin like a, a in sound. Xin Nian Hao means like a have a more like a have a good new good in New Year. Xin Nian Hao. All right. Uh, don't worry. We have record, so you guys can go back and listen and yeah. Um, uh, anyone know how to say bye in Chinese? Like bye, goodbye, or something like that? Why for yes and no? Okay, wait a minute, let's see here. I think we can have a little fun with this, Connor. This is teacher Robin talking. When you have to say something, I think Audrey should be your student who practices saying it. Oh, thank you, Robin. Oh, yes. Now yes. we're going to yes. put Audrey on the spot. So I did the easy one with me how. So yes. now let's go back to Happy New Year. And okay. let's see how well Audrey does it. And if you are doing this live or at home, we will see, can you do better than Audrey? So That's Connor, right. will you repeat okay. it twice for us? Happy New Year. New Year. Okay. Audrey, uh, uh, it's Xin. I'm listening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Xin Nian Hao. Xin Nian Hao. 
Xin Nian Hao. Yep. Xin Nian, like a n name, like name Nian Hao. Xin Nian Hao. Uh, that's right. That's okay. right. That's right. Really oh, good. That's though. good. Xin Nian. And the Hao is, is like how. Good. Right? Yeah. Like a question. Uh -huh. Like a question. Uh -huh. oh. like, a wave. like a little can wave sound. You, Con yeah. Connor, can you teach us to say what is your name and my name is? Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. I can teach you guys say my name is. What is your name? It's a little bit complicated. Okay. Um, well, then let's stick with the easy one. How about my yeah. name is? <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, if you want to say my name is blank. Uh, example, my name is Connor. You will say mm -hmm. 我, like a W sound. 我叫, and your name. Like 我叫 Connor. What is your name, Audrey? Tell me. What? Uh -huh. Audrey. Uh -huh. Yes, that's right. That's right. Yep. Can I and try it once be... more? It... Yes, yes. Whoa. No. Uh -huh. Let me hear it one more time, please, Connor. Okay. It's what? Uh -huh. Audrey. Uh -huh. Yep, that's right. Uh -huh. oh, really good. Thank you. I bet everybody at home is practicing that. That's yes. cool. Yes. Oh, All right. One more uh, New Year yeah. words I think you guys will oh. like. Do you guys know yeah. how? To, do you guys want to know how to say congratulations? Like when you like New Year, you know, people usually say, "Hey, congrats, Happy New yeah. Year." Usually, people like to say that in China. Uh, it's really easy. So, congratulations. We would just say, "Gong Xi." Gong Shi. Audrey, can you say it? I'll try. Gong Gong Shi. Uh huh. Yep. That's right. That's Gung right. Shi. Uh huh. Yep. I have really. one more for you to. to um, we have an orange today, and I know orange is very important for the Chinese New Year. Orange or a tangerine, and yep. I, I hear that they have a beautiful sound. Uh, could you teach us how to say orange? Oh. <laughs> That sound, uh, I can I can say it, but uh, let's see, it's cute, cute. Oh. Yeah, that sound is. Uh, I I teach a lot of Chinese. Uh, some people mm -hmm. are Chinese that they can't make it too. It's more yeah. like a U sound ish. Cute. Yeah. Uh huh. Like cute. Uh huh. That's about, right. How about tangerine? Is that better? Um. Actually, anything? okay. Let me, let me tell you something. Okay. Uh, uh, that one I taught is tangerine. Uh, ah. The orange, big, fat, really big orange. We call yeah. them chengzi. Chengzi. Can you say it? Mm, one more try. It's chengzi. Chengzi. Uh -huh, that's right. Not, not that's bad, right. right? Yep, that's well, right. I think I'm going to be calling you for Chinese lessons. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. I well, love to learn languages. It's one of my favorite things to do in my life. Yeah, it's really I fun. Thank you that you're teaching us so many things. And we have a lot to talk about with the Chinese New Year and a lot to show. So I think we should um, just check in if everybody, does everybody have an orange or a tangerine today? And if you don't, you can use your imaginations and pretend you have an orange, but I have one. And, I have one too. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the orange and, and why it's important? Oh, okay, let me see. Uh, so the orange in, let's see. So in China, we, there are like people believe a lot of uh, food have a meaning side of it, mm -hmm. especially yeah. uh, New Year, and they have a lot of those. Uh, orange in Chinese, in China, they believe it like it's uh, get their luck and uh, get the evil spirit away. Oh. And so in China, like uh, New Year, they usually have like that. Uh, Decorated and they put an orange on on there, or they give out a little orange for gift. That's mm -hmm. uh, usually a thing in Chinese New Year. 
So oranges are very important. Um, we're going to come back in just a few minutes to, to the new year with some videos and some pictures that you have uh, sent and, and Robin is going to talk about them with us or, or Leanne and we got a video. But right now I want to talk just a little bit about February because that's one thing we're going to talk more about that your that Chinese New Year is not just one day and I know you can explain that in a few minutes. It's, it's a long celebration. So speaking of long celebrations, just for everyone to know, this is our new month. It is our second month and we already know the name of the month. It's February mm -hmm. and it's the second day of the second month, which I think is really cool. So it's February <laughs> 2nd and it's a special fun day um, today. And I'm wondering in the chat box, does anybody, can anybody tell us the name of this special day? Mm -hmm. I will let you know when our answers start popping up. What is that special holiday? All right, we have one guest oh, oh, that good. is President's Day. And mm -hmm. I think we do have a hand back up, but I'm not sure who, oh, from Clara. Welcome back, Clara. I'm gonna give you permission to talk. We have had Clara with us before. You can go ahead and unmute Clara. All right, um, right, I'm thinking of Groundhog Day. Oh, mm. you are right, you are right, Groundhog Day it is. And do you know what happens today on Groundhog Day, Clara? So when a groundhog comes out, it sees its, if it sees its shadow, it, means six more weeks of winter, but if it doesn't see its shadow, it means an early spring. But right now it's just touching scrolls. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. That's a perfect answer. And this little groundhog is also, um, someone I read this is called a woodchuck. Is that true that that's the same animal or maybe they just look similar? Does anybody know about that? Robin, can you help me there? I will look and see if anybody knows that answer. I wonder. I know that they look similar, but mm -hmm. I'm not sure if they are. I think that could be our expanded core homework is to do a little research and to find out. Now, oh. Nitya has said in the chat, yes, but I don't know. I think this is grounds for some good Groundhog Day homework. I like that too. And there is a tongue twister about a woodchuck that I will save for next time when we find the answer. Cause I think we will talk about this the next time we meet that will be on my, on our list. Okay, so I don't even have to use the robot today. I was gonna ask her to tell us about Groundhog Day but Clara did such a great job. And I've heard that some states, it did see its shadow, some it did not, but we're all, at least I'm hoping for an early spring. Um, we have a lot of snow where I live right now. We have about two feet of snow and that's a lot in right outside of New York City. And so we're talking about Groundhog Day and about animals. And since we're talking about animals and calendars, the Chinese New Year, if I'm right, Connor, it's a different calendar, right? It, it, it works with something different. Yep, it works with the... Uh... Luna. Oh. Uh, yeah. With the moon. Moon, yep. Yeah, so it's lunar, you're right. So we're gonna be talking about the moon in a little while because we're gonna be talking about outer space. So this is also cool. So with the calendar, you work with certain years and certain animals. Yep. Um, I know my animal is the year of the snake. That's when I was born and a snake when I heard that, I thought, oh, that sounds scary. But when I read about the Chinese interpretation of the snake, I'm not such a bad animal after all. So I'm happy about my year. Um, can you tell us what your year is when you were born, what your animal is? Oh, so I'm born in 2000. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm a dragon. I'm happy about my animal too. <laughs> okay. Yep. And this year um, is what year? 2021. What year it's is It's the ox year. It's the ox, ox. year. Uh-huh. Oh. Yeah. 
Okay. So it changes every 12 years. Yep. And 12 years for a cycle and mm -hmm. it rotates mm -hmm. around. Uh -huh. Okay. That's good. I have all of the list of the animals, but I have to get there and I'm not there yet to see if later at the end, if we have time, we can ask uh, students what year they're they were born because then they'll know what animal they are because it changes mm -hmm. every 12 years. Yep. So I, I can, I'll get there as we're talking about something else. Okay. So we are talking about the moon uh, and the lunar calendar. And let's talk about the moon. I bet you've been to the moon. Haven't you been there, Connor? Have you been there? Oh, I wish. <laughs> well, I know that some astronauts really did go to the moon, and I saw that on TV when I was growing up. But even before that, astronauts, the first time they, they went somewhere into outer space, and that's what an astronaut does. And I realized I was supposed to ask you that, Connor. An astronaut goes into outer space. And does anybody know who the very, very, very first astronaut it was who went into outer space. Somebody might. I'm going to tell you, his name was John Glenn and he went into outer space on February 20th, 1962. So that's another February date. And what's really cool is that he had a lot of people helping him get there. And to get there, and remember, nobody did this before, and it's, you know, just, it's a whole new exploration. And so when he got there, he had to have a lot of people helping him and a lot of people who knew math. And there were these wonderful ladies, and there were four women who were Black, and they were really super, super, super good in math. And they were able to give him all the help that he needed that lots of other people couldn't figure out. There's a movie about them. It's called Hidden Figures. Oh, yeah. And it is really good. And there's a story about them. The book is called Hidden Figures. And there's one for kids too. Same name, Hidden Figures. And to celebrate Black History Month, which, it, which is in February, um, people can read about these amazing ladies and how they helped John Glenn. So why don't we pretend we're going into outer space and just think about the planet you want to go on or a star. Maybe you want to go to a star or maybe you want to be a star and the astronaut is, astronaut is going to land on you. But in any case, we're going to take a quick imaginary trip there. And I'm going to do the blast off. And then I'm, Connor, I'm going to ask you to send us back home when it's time. Okay. So okay. we'll do blast off now and just think in your minds for about two seconds where you want to go. And even though we don't have a long time to visit now, in your imaginations later on, after this is over, you can go back and visit again or go anywhere you want as an astronaut. So put on your spacesuits, everybody. And remember, they are super, super heavy. So you gotta be really strong and it's really a lot of work getting these suits on. Oh, I got mine on. And I am gonna keep a secret where I'm going, but I'm gonna count and I'll tell you when I get back where I was. So let's do a blast off. We're going to go five, four, three, two, one, blast off. We're there. We're at our place in our planet. Or we're exploring. Enjoy it. And just think about all the new things you're learning about. And maybe like on the moon, there's not so much gravity and gravity keeps us grounded on the earth. And so the moon doesn't have so much gravity. So we could be bouncing up in the air. Other planets don't have gravity. So we could be just kind of flying around. And it's time to come back because we've got so many other things to do. And Connor, would you uh, send us back with another blast off, please? All right. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, come back, everyone. Uh -huh. We are back. To Thank the you, Connor. Connor, where did you go? Oh, I go to the Jupiter. Oh, I went to Mars. Oh, fun. <laughs> yeah, it was really fun. I met a lot of really friendly Martians. 
It was cool. Okay, I think it's time to go back to our new year and learn some more. And I know that you have sent some very nice pictures and photos and videos. So I'm going to ask you, Robin, to show us some things that you have, which Connor has prepared for us. All right, that sounds like a plan. Um, Connor, would you like me to start first with what it looks like to celebrate Chinese New Year? Or should we start with the food? The food. Oh yes, we should always start with the food. I love that <laughs> idea, everybody. All right, the very first thing we are about to look at are called dumplings. Now, before I share the picture, I'd love to know in the chat window, has anybody heard of or eaten dumplings? Me. And then I'm going to share a picture of it. And we'd love to know, and maybe Connor, can you describe what a dumpling is? So I'm going to share a picture of it right now. Okay. And I will let Connor describe it. And then I will tell you about the picture. Go ahead, Connor. So the dumplings, it's like uh, they use uh, like flour and and stuff to make it like a like a dough thing. And inside inside the dough, that like, you can put like different meat and vegetables and stuff covered with it. And it's shaped like what is shaped like? Uh, They're just I'm, little ones, kind of almost yeah. like an oval a little bit or like a little crescent. And I want everyone to think about a grown-up's hand, okay? So imagine a grown-up's hand. A dumpling can fit in the palm of your hand. So they're not very big, which means you can eat a ton of them. Right. I wonder how many dumplings we could eat. I eat a lot. And you can <laughs> fry them or boil them or whatever them you want. Oh, wow. I want some right now. So we have a couple of students that have had a dumpling before, and Clara agrees with me that dumplings sound delicious. Now, oh, the yeah. other cool thing about a dumpling is that you can also use your chopsticks and dip it into different sauces. Uh-huh. So, Connor, do you like spicy sauces or do you like mild sauces? Oh, uh, I like spicy sauce. I love spicy food. Mm -hmm. Just me oh. and dumplings also that means like wealth because they look like those golden money when uh the old time china china they use usually you know we don't have bills uh, in a long time they use gold to trade and they look mm -hmm. like dumplings oh so donnie says he's never had any but nitya shared that they are like indians and i wonder if we mean india, india because i think other cultures have similar meals or similar foods like dumplings mm -hmm. all right connor i am ready to share your next one i want to see if anybody can guess it before i share the picture this food lives in the ocean and you can catch it with a recreation activity like fishing, but then you can cook it up. I wonder what it could be. <laughs> oh, look at that. Nitya has guessed fish and I see Arlene. Nope, I thought I saw a hand up for a second, but I'm gonna share everybody a picture of this fish. Now, when I say I'm sharing a picture of fish, I mean, we're looking at not fish sticks or a filet of fish from McDonald's. I oh, mean, yeah. we're looking at the real deal, a full fish. There is a head with its eyes. I'm not gonna lie, there it is. And then it's long <laughs> and thin on a rectangle plate and it's covered with this green stuff called cilantro. And then these mm. noodles and these little vegetables all caught up. So Connor, do you eat fish on Chinese New Year? Yes, and in China uh, that time, we don't, uh, we eat different uh, fish differently like you guys. We usually eat the head and oh. yes, oh. that's right. I definitely need to upgrade my Chinese New Year because this is on another level. Well, this is such good food that I think we need to move on to one of my 
favorite foods. Uh -huh. I'm going to give you a little bit of a clue. These are also things that could fit in your hand. They're kind mm -hmm. of longish and thick, and they have stuff inside. Oh, so yeah. If you're thinking of a shape of maybe a Twinkie, this is not exactly the same, but it's kind of the same shape. What do you think it is? Something that's filled. It's got a nice deep fried wrapping to it. What mm -hmm. could it be? I always order it when I- That's so good, huh, Robin? Food. All right, I'm gonna share my screen so that everybody can see. Oh, Nitya guessed noodles. Good guess, mm -hmm. Nitya. Yeah. But Close. this time we're talking about the one and only Egg rolls or spring, spring rolls. rolls. Spring All rolls. right, Robin, I have a question for you. Okay, Connor. Do you me. know what the difference is between spring rolls and egg rolls? They are different. Now, part of me wants to say egg rolls have eggs in them, but <laughs> so I don't funny. think that's it. I'm wondering, no. do spring rolls have vegetables and egg rolls have... Not ding vegetables. ding ding, yes, ah, yes. yes, really good. Yep, that That's is some Chinese New Year trivia. Will you explain the difference one more time, Connor? So, the egg rolls they usually have a lot of meat and stuff like uh, ham, pork, whatever inside, but the spring rolls have like cabbages and a bunch of veggies inside, usually. I like spring rolls better, but personal idea. Okay, so now we need everybody to weigh in on this. If you think you would like spring rolls, type an S in the chat. If you would want egg rolls, bring on the meat, type an E. <laughs> but if you're sitting there like me, I can't choose, and you like both, put a B in the chat window. Or if you're watching this at home, what do you like? I like how our friend Leanne typed the word both in capital letters. That is how I feel about it. Let's ask Audrey, do you like spring rolls, egg rolls, or both? Both with a capital B. Yes. <laughs> so fun. Oh, I see that Clara is on team egg roll while Nitya is on team spring roll. Now, our next picture we're gonna go through kind of fast because we talked about it before. This is a fruit. And what was mm -hmm. that special fruit that Connor mentioned at the beginning in our discussion? What was that special fruit? Oh, look at that. Nitya says tangerine and Arlene mm -hmm. and Clara remembered that it's an orange. I'm yeah. sharing my screen and showing you a picture of some lemons that are yellow, limes that are green, oranges, the big ones, and the little ones, like a little clementine that's a little Whoa. orange one. So we know a few fruits. I yeah. like the clementines because they don't have seeds in them. They're oh, very, yeah. And they're easy right. to peel. Yes. For sure. I love them. I fruit, love them. Fruit in China in the New Year's means fullness and all wealthy. They love getting wealth, look like, huh? Oh, I love it. Okay, we've got, I'm gonna scoot us through three more pictures. This next one, I'm gonna need Connor to definitely help me with, with the description because when I look at this picture, I see a bowl. So everybody mm. imagine a bowl. And then I see noodles. And then I also Ooh. see these long green vegetables that are leafy. So it's kind of like if spinach met celery, that's what it would look like. Oh, I see. So, uh -huh. so long stalks like a celery, but leafy like spinach. And then on top of it, part of me wants to say that it's meat, but I'm not entirely certain that that's what it is. So I'm gonna share the screen. That was the description. Connor, will you please help me? What on earth are we looking at? Oh, okay. So it looked like a bowl, like a rice bowl, right? I don't see any rice in it. I see noodles. And then oh. I see these celery spinach. I looking. see what is it. I see. It's a, it's a thing called the longevity noodles. It means like 
uh, usually for either birthday or New Year, longevity means like living long. And uh, so in China, a lot of people wish that elderly, they, the people can live longer. So that's why I think- I love that name, longevity noodles. That I do too. Sounds... And it has the word long in it too. Yep. So, so are these noodles like as long as your fingers or as <laughs> long as your arms or in the middle? Uh, it's way longer than your finger. Uh, I think it's, it's more in the middle, but it's really long. Ooh, so maybe my fingertip to right past my wrist. Yep. Somewhere. I bet those would be fun to slurp up. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's oh, perfect. Right, yeah. All right, Arlene has a question since we're talking about these fantastic longevity noodles. Where do we find these noodles? Oh, mm, those noodles, they don't usually serve, in rest, uh, serve them in the restaurant. They're more like homemade thing if you home it for your elderly like your uh, father or mom which they can live longer and oh can you get yeah. them from like a, I uh, never thought like a specialty them. store maybe i never saw them in an uh, american restaurant but they're really easy to make i okay well good to know guess what we now have we've got some more homework so that we can go <laughs> make these ones all right, this next one I'm going to say looks like it could be a dessert. Yeah, that's right. But not the right. type of dessert that I'm used to seeing. This is a smaller picture that I'm showing you. And I'm sorry, I couldn't find a, a bigger one really quickly, but I'm going to share my screen. And what we lack in size, I will make up with, with a fabulous description. Uh -huh. So this is a circle cake that kind of is as thick and as big as a cheesecake, my favorite, mm -hmm. by the way. And, yep. but this one is like a deep orange and it looks like it's kind of, is it jello-y a little bit, Connor? It is more, it's a rice cake thing. Oh, it's a rice cake, but this yeah. rice cake is a dark, dark orange. And it's, it's, is it small or is it as big as a, a cheesecake? Usually it's really big, usually. Really it's big. big, yes, really big cake. Yeah. Let's it's called, gluten, uh, it's called gl uh, glutinous rice cake. It usually means high incomes or positions. Nian gao, that's what they call year, higher, and better. That's uh, uh, hope and blessing Chinese people hope for their families and love. In China, they do a lot of those things like that. You guys can see like a lot of hope and blessing, hope they will be better and at everything. Oh, I love that we're attaching all of this meaning to food. We yeah. have a quick question. Connor, have you ever heard of Chinese soup? Chinese soup? Yes. It yeah. is a question from, can you tell yeah. us a little bit about it? Uh, in China, so like, the soup is cooks like a little bit different than the soup in here. They usually have more broth, way more broth. And in China, they're kind of like, have you guys tried pho? They use like bones and those stuff to make mm -hmm. uh, cook a long time for your soup. That's what is usually happening in China. They like those. We have something here called that people use a lot now. It's called bone broth. And it is yep. the same idea where the bones are cooked a long, 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 long time with vegetables. And it's right. very healthy. It's very healthy mm -hmm. to drink it. Yep, that's right. In China, they like to do that. And way more broth, like a big soup have lots of broth and stuff in, and veggies. And I love what it. Well, this leads us to our last food. <laughs> And our last food is also, can I even say it's in the soup looking family? So imagine a bowl with some soup broth. So like, like a chicken noodle soup type of broth. And then these white balls inside of it. Kind of like mozzarella cheese, if you know what mozzarella oh. cheese looks like. So this is a, what looks like a soup 
and it has these white balls and maybe they look like either mozzarella balls or like an egg but I don't think they're really an egg. I just tried looking all of this up and I don't think it necessarily is. So Connor, I'm gonna share my screen to show the picture. It's smaller. I was gonna try to find a little bit bigger of a picture, but are these the sweet rice balls? Yes, that's right. They are Ooh. the sweet rice balls. Uh, they are mean, they also have a meaning. That means family together forever. Oh, I love this. Oh. Yeah. yeah. And the importance of Chinese New Year is family together. That's the meme of the Chinese New Year. So usually everybody's so busy, have their own work, right, on the day day. And the New Year is for families together, all get together and have a meal and talk about their life and having fun. Oh, this uh, is so good. This is a good transition to our next two pictures because we have a picture that I will show you in a minute of Connor's family celebrating Chinese New Year. So I am going to click share screen and we are looking at a nice picture. So as Connor talked about, he is adopted. So his parents are some nice looking white people, just so everybody knows. They are in the picture and Connor's family has a lot of kids in them. And so many of them have come from China. So as you're looking at all of them, they are all wearing traditional Chinese clothes. They are wearing special hats. Like this girl right here has beads coming down from this kind of hat that comes up. And I'm gonna show another picture of one of the daughters wearing these special hats with beads coming down. And then Connor, who is right next to his dad is wearing like a silk looking traditional Chinese shirt. And his other brother who is standing by their mom is also wearing one of these traditional Chinese shirts. And you'll notice if you can see or listen to my description that they're not regular buttons like you see on a normal, like a male dress down shirt. In fact, you see that they go across, and I'm highlighting this with my mouse right now, that instead of it being a circle button, there's like a nice long rectangle and it goes all the way down. And the material, instead of being cotton, it looks like it's very silky and there's bright colors and flowers and decoration. And his family are standing right next to this head of a Chinese dragon from yes. a parade. And this dragon has bold, bright colors, red and yellow and green. I just got to say, just looking at this picture, I am ready to party, everybody. <laughs> ready to party. This is way better than what I wore to my New Year's Eve party in America. I that love it. I, it sounds so, so exciting. You have some videos to show us too? Uh, Robin, of music, right? We have oh. music. So now that we've talked about the dress of Chinese New uh -huh. Year and what we're all doing, I think what we need to do is get our music on for certain. So I would like everybody to start feeling festive, right, Connor? Is that what we should do? We should start feeling happy. I'm not going right. to show anything. We are going to use our ears and slip away to the fun of Chinese New Year. So listen for this upbeat music. Ready, set, go. <laughs> I'm just going to ask, I'm going to play it again, but what kind of instruments do you think you hear? Because my ears are hearing very different types of instruments that I would normally hear. So listen again. And who is tapping their foot or nodding their heads? because I certainly am. Oh, 
All right. What kind of instruments did you hear? Nitya has shared. Oh, and Clara joins in. They heard flutes. Mm -hmm. it's oh, different. yes. But flutes for sure. Yep. Have you guys right, watched Connor, Kung Fu Panda? Can... Oh, what was that, Connor? Have you guys ever watched Kung Fu Panda? Oh, I have heard of Kung Fu Panda. Yeah, right. They use the flutes in there too. They try to create an Asian way. So those kind of flute use it in those kind of movies. Oh, that is cool. I love, I love that. that. Yep. Robin, thank you for showing us everything. Is that is that everything you have or do you have more? That is everything. We have heard music. We have talked about food and culture. And if we don't get onto something else, I might go get myself some chopsticks and go eat myself eat. some Chinese food. Well, me I too. I'm ordering out tonight. <laughs> That's what I'd like to do. <laughs> I'm ready now. I'm hungry. Um, we have so many rich things today. And I'd like to talk about the animals because I just think that is so much fun. Would that be all right, Connor, if we talk a little bit about what year it is right oh, now? Oh, yeah, of course. I, I got my chart so I can look up anybody's animal, um, yeah. what year they were born, whoever wants to share. Mm -hmm. um, so this year, 2021, tell us the year, Connor. It is? The ox. The year of the ox was a hardworking animal, right? Yep, really, right. I picture oxen working very, very hard. And mm -hmm. the plural of ox is oxen. So you have, think of a lot of them working. So that's what we have. And we have other animals. Does anybody want to share their birth year? And we can look up your animal. Mm -hmm. You can chat with, put it in the chat box if you like. All right, we already have some uh, years coming through. So you are gonna hear teacher Robin sharing some of them and then I'm going to switch with Leanne in just a few minutes. But okay. I will get us started by sharing from Arlene, 2016. Ah, okay. 2016. That's five years ago, and that would be the monkey. Yep, the monkey year. Okay, so you are a monkey. Anybody, any, any comments about that, Connor? Um, if you're interested, you can go to do a research, like what personality and stuff monkey have. Mm. Cool. If you're interested, just like the American Zodiac, they have that too. Okay, thanks, Connor. Any other years? This is Leanne. How about 2010? Oh, mm -hmm. let me see here. I will tell you in a second. And we have, that's 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And just mm -hmm. see here. Five. I have a cool chart here. It is 2012 is the dragon. Hmm. 2001. I'm sorry, you said 2010. Yep. Correct. 2010. And that is the tiger. Oh, yeah. The tiger. How cool. about 2005? Oh, Ooh. 2005 is the rooster. Ooh How about yeah. 1993? Oh, okay. So that would also be the rooster. Ooh, two roosters, but different years. Yes, because it's yeah. 12 years. 1993. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about 2014? Ah, 2014. That's the horse. Oh, yeah, horse year. Connor, what is your animal year? Oh, I am really, really cool. I'm a dragon. Oh, oh. Mm. Okay. how far back can you go? Can you go to 1956? I can, 
because I'm going to use myself as the one was from 1953. So I'm going to add three years to that. Just give me a second. Two, yep, one second, 2004. Okay. And that should be the monkey also. Ooh, monkey year. Yes. Yeah, cool. Very cool. Well, this is fun. Um, so we have 12 different animals. And do you just want to tell us a little bit before we, we visit our other holidays really quickly? <laughs> but can you tell us a little bit about the cat, why we don't have a cat in, the, yeah. in all of these animals? That would be great. So a long time ago, you know, people often cannot forget, kind of forget their age and what is, what time, what year is it right now? So then they go to and ask the God for help. So the God, he feel that animals are every human's friend. So he think if we use 12 animals for the 12 different year, everyone should remember them. So, there, but there are so many animals. So he decided to do a race who run the fastest or be the first place and the, who the 12 animals are winning for the 12 zodiac. Uh, so why is this not cat? They, they are so, they're so cool, right? We are well, not mean to them. But why there's no cat in the zodiac? Because so one cat usually they are friends with the rats uh, for a long time. They're really good friends. And so when when the night of the race, the cat told the rat, please wake me up. It, uh, you know, everybody know cat like sleep forever. That's that's all right, right? I like that too. So on the next <laughs> day, but on the next day, the rat. Uh, well, he he totally forget his friend, cat, and he he just runs and he got his first place, but he so since then the cat and the rat they are never be friends anymore, you know they're just so rude, and that's why there's no cat because cats sleep too long. I see that is a great story, Connor. I know cats love to sleep. Oh, well, yeah. we are talking. Thank you, Connor, so, so much because you taught us so many things. And I, I need to call you to practice my Chinese so that oh, I can yeah. learn anytime, more. Anytime. So we have a lot of books listed for the letter that came out for parents and teachers on Chinese New Year. A lot of books. And we're going to visit a few other holidays. There is a lovely lantern that you can make that we're not going to have time to make today with, with our red paper and scissors and tape, but the directions are easy to follow. And uh, your parents can also look at, at some YouTube videos, which are visual, which can give you an idea of how to make this really cool lantern. Um, so that please, please remember that those papers have been sent out and you can follow up on that and that talks about Valentine's Day too. And we all know that Valentine's Day is a special day on February 14th because people send nice cards and hearts and it's all very fancy and, you know, all these nice, nice things. And you can make one for your mom or whoever, and you can draw a heart. You can make, um, you can make one in Braille. I also included a nice uh, Braille heart. And Connor, I think you're going to try that Braille heart. Too. Oh yeah, I will. Yeah. I heard it's and really can, easy. You can make, yeah, it's easy <laughs> and you can make it on a card and have a lot of fun with that. And yep. red is important for Valentine's Day. And it's, it's a very love, happy color. And if I'm right, that's one of your colors too for the Chinese New Year, am I right? Connor? Oh red yeah, yeah. So important. So red, red is wonderful wonderful color to to surround ourselves with so i'm going to go back now to what you were talking about about all the animals and about the leader in the race and i'm going to talk about president's day and our president of our country is the leader of our country so we work with our leader to make things better but think about when you're a leader if you're winning a race if you're a leader online, if you're um, uh, first to do something, uh, first to show something, you think about times when you had the chance to be the leader. Um, and it's, it's really cool. So we can 
play a leader game, which I'd like to do. Um, so here it is. I have my orange and I'm going to be the leader and do a few things and ask everybody to, to do them with me. It's like a Simon Says kind of game. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you can start by taking your orange and roll it around in your hand. Roll it around and feel how good that feels. And just roll that orange. And now you can roll it on the table and put it up toward your nose and just, oh, smell that orange. And sometimes you can really smell the orange that's inside the skin. Isn't it really cool? These oranges are already sliced for us. And I even like the tangerines better. I have an orange now, but I like the clementines, as we said, the best, because you could just open them up and eat them, peel them and eat them. And the slices are right there. So we have this orange. So let's put the orange on top of our heads. And now let's put the orange behind our heads. And let's put it next to one ear and then next to another ear. Either ear is fine. Okay, so we have this orange and, and now you can put your orange down, please. Okay, now I'd like everybody to knock on the table. To, what you have to do is fold your hands in, or your hand, one hand into a fist. You can bend your fingers and unbend them and get them loose. So bend your fingers, unbend your fingers, bend your fingers, unbend your fingers really fast. Bend, unbend, I bet you could do it. Now make a fist and knock on the table. Try it. Okay, now in your mind, think about a secret knock. So you're gonna teach somebody a secret knock and only you and that person knows it's you. So my secret knock is not gonna be secret because I'm gonna share my knock, but I'm gonna share this knock. I don't know if you guys could hear that or not, but it's really cool. Okay, so the last thing for my leader game is, Connor, would you share your knock with us? Oh, yes, yes. Let's see. Cool. That's a cool knock. All right. Well, there is was a president named Abraham Lincoln, and he was very important. Um, uh, all our presidents are important, but he was very, very important because he did really a special, important, a super important thing for our country. We were having a lot of difficulties and we had slaves at that time. So people were not free. And so Abraham Lincoln did this brave thing and he signed the paper to make sure that we had no more slaves. And that was his really important thing that he did. And so we remember him for President's Day in February because he had a February birthday, which was February, which will be February 12th. And so Abraham Lincoln also did cool things with his kids. He had boys and in that White House, there was so much noise because there were boys running around all the time. And he would be busy with his meetings and he would take time out for his kids. And Aww. one of his boys, Tad, he and Tad made a secret knock together. And that's what I wanted to tell you why we, we did our secret knock. And so that is just a cool thing to know that, that he was, even though he was so, so, so busy and he was our 16th president, by the way, he was so busy, he still had time to play with his children. Mm -hmm. um, the other president we're going to remember is George Washington. And he was the very first president and he is the called the father of our country because he started this whole country. He was the first leader. And he and his wife, Martha, had a cat. And their cat was named Hamilton. So <laughs> that was for Alexander Hamilton. So that is a, a cool, fun thing about George Washington and Martha Washington. So we remember these presidents. And there are lots of books you can read. And I'm reading a really cool 
book. And I'm wondering in the chat box, does anybody know about the Magic Treehouse books? Oh, I heard it. You can say a Y or an N. I read about them, but I just started reading them. I didn't read them when I, when my kids were small, and now I'm going to read them. Oh. Does anybody in the chat box tell us a yes? Yes, Calera has. Oh. oh. What what can you can you share something with us, Clara? Do you want to unmute? <clears throat> And Donnie has. Oh, good. Oh, Claire, well, go ahead. You should be able to unmute. Thank you. So um, it's really cool. Like, so two children are, so the first book, the children are playing, and then the girl named Annie runs into the woods, and she finds the tree house. Then they found out that it was filled with books. And then Jack pointed to a picture of a pteranodon and wished he could see one. And then there was one outside the window. And then suddenly they were back in the time of dinosaurs. Thank you. Thank you very much, Clara. I know my grandson, Matthew, loves dinosaurs. So I want to talk to him about that one. The one I'm reading is... Um, about Abraham Lincoln. And so they go to, to visit the White House and they meet him and they meet his kids. Wow. And their kids think that the treehouse belongs to them because the treehouse lands right outside the White House. So mm -hmm. I haven't finished the book yet, but the book is fiction because Jack and Annie are not real people, but the, 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 a lot of times the people that they meet were real people. So they go to all different times and it is so much fun. So I recommend people looking up the Magic Treehouse. And that's also in the notes that I sent out. So we visited our presidents. We did our Valentines. We did Chinese New Year. And we did, oh, we have a game. We have a couple more minutes to do a game, a multiple choice game. And Leanne, I think we have like three minutes. You got three minutes. So we are going to at least do some of the game. Okay. We won't, we won't have to, we'll, we'll try. Okay. So here it is, a multiple choice. Number one, one of the favorite colors for Valentine's Day and Chinese New Year is A, purple, B, black, C, yellow, D, blue, E, red. And who can give us the correct answer? We have E, red from quite a few folks. Oh, Ooh. good, very good. Okay, let's do another one. The first president of the United States was A, Abraham Washington, B, George Lincoln, C, Joe Biden, D, George Washington, E, Connor Green. Oh yeah, that's me. <laughs> Donnie, Claire, both say D. Yes, <laughs> very good. George Washington. Nitya says George Washington. <laughs> can we do one more? Yeah, you can fit one more in. Okay, this one. One of the best things about Chinese New Year is A, being with family, B, studying. C, sleeping. Mm. Good question. <laughs> Donnie and Arlene sleeping. go with A, but I'm wondering how many people also sleep during oh, Chinese no. New Year because it's quite a vacation, <laughs> isn't it? Yes. <laughs> I bet because it's so many days. Well, A it is. And I want to thank you, Leanne and Robin and Connor. Thank you so much for being our guests today. And thank you everybody who's with us and everybody who's going to watch later. And I just had a, the best time today. So enjoy the projects, enjoy the books, enjoy the holidays, enjoy February. Thank you, Leanne. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. you. And anyone who is going to join us tomorrow, tomorrow we are talking about train travel. <gasps>
using and taking a train to get places. There are many places that that is a typical way to travel. So learn, come and learn a little bit more and we'll see you then. Thank you, Connor and Audrey. You guys have a great week. You Thank too. You. Thanks, Leanne. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.